Today, I'm going to show you how you can make this beautiful disc from some scrap copper. Yeah, so show you some of the material that we scrap for copper, some pipe. So when we do the pipe, for example, we want to cut it off in, in, in lengths that can go into the crucible. So I put it in my vise and very easily just grind it. You'll see, um, got rid of my hammers, that'll bend real easy and break. So you get it off into individual pieces. Then I actually put it in the vise and squash it. Because you can go banging it with the hammer if you like. And I use a bit of bit of pipe to give a bit of leverage on the vise. So pretty much everything, squash it down. Otherwise you'll find you just got to keep putting too much back into the crucible after. So just squash that other side, a little bit there. That just makes it so much easier to do. Just squash it all down. So you see that? Now it's going to get a lot more pieces of that. Also I've got wire that I've pulled out of windings on motors. That's quite a few motors, a lot of motors. Some big windings here too. Heavy duty ones. Whoops, sorry. And uh, see how I've squashed all the pipes together? Uh, so it's all compacted because you get a lot of air space in there. That'll still only result in half the crucible of actual melted copper. So we've got that. Now I'm going to turn up the temperature. And I'll put the lid on. Turn it right up. Lots of air flow through. And over here, you can have a look at the gas. I've got it on 1.2 on the regulator. You can adjust the regulator, see it down to 1, 1 1.2. And when you're doing aluminium, you only need 0.8 is, is enough to melt. Okay, stop. There we go. Turn the gas off. Take the lid off, have a look inside there. She's glowing hot. I'm going to put a little bit of borax in there. Okay, and then I'll stir that up. There's my wand over this side, stay there. Ooh. See that stuff popped out? She's pretty hot. Can't be too careful, eh? See how much is sticking onto the wand already? Just a little bit like that. Actually, I might use the spoon straight away. Looks like it's separated pretty well. Um, leave that plate. That's got all the dross out. She's hot. Okay. Get these tools. Inside the furnace, how hot it is. Here we go. Uh, 
Couple of coins, maybe that's all. Yep, that's okay. That's it. This disc has come out okay, looks pretty cool. Did a little bit of printing on the back. I didn't polish it up too much, just a basic polish. Uh, this other one though, the flat one, it's all right, but it's too thin. So I'm just going to redo that. I'll cut it in half and put it in the crucible with a bit more copper. I've decided to give my furnace a bit of a paint job, make it look a little bit better. That's pretty cool. Got those pieces in the crucible now with a, lot, with a couple of other pieces and I'm going to put it into the forge. I'll just fire Starting to heat up.
much nicer, thicker piece. I'll polish that up now, grind the edges off. It's going to come up good. <laughs> 